This may very well be the strangest shield ever invented, if you even want to call it just a shield. It's a shield gauntlet lantern parrying blade spike thingamajig. It's made of iron or steel and consists of a metal shield with central spike, a segmented fingered gauntlet with or without serrated blades, and in at least some cases with a male reinforced glove on the inside, as well as a retractable double-edged blade. The shield also has a handle riveted to it, which the user can grasp to brace more effectively against attacks. These things were an invention of the Renaissance. The finds usually date to the 16th and 17th centuries, although simple shields with lantern attachments seem older than that. This one is from mid-15th century Italy. The lantern was designed so that it could cast light out in front of the user through a hole in the shield, which sometimes had a flap or hinged door. Apparently it was fully enclosed in the back, so the user wouldn't be blinded by the light or risk getting burning oil in his face. Hopefully. So what is the meaning of this freaky contraption? Only the designers could tell us for sure, but they are long dead and gone. We can speculate though. The lantern indicates that it's for use at night, or at least in low light conditions, so it may have been intended for town guards or as a civilian self-defense weapon. It might also have been used by less respectable individuals on the other side of the law. I found one written source mentioning the use of shields with attached lanterns, which is an account of Sir Canon Digby, who was ambushed by Spaniards in Madrid in 1623. It describes how the attackers had an advantage by blinding him with the light while being able to see him well in the dark. A different version of the lantern shield is said to have been used in Russia in the defense of cities and castles, but I'm not sure how reliable the sources are, and in any case it's supposed to have been rare. Those don't seem to have an actual lantern attached to them, although there is a hole. Since the arm is fixed in a forward position with a shield in front of the face, the opening may have been simply for the user to see through. It seems like a terribly cumbersome and impractical thing to use, considering how much it limits the user's movements. The other type seems a lot more useful, although I can't help but think of it as possibly the Renaissance equivalent to modern tactical mall ninja or wannabe zombie slayer gimmicks, designed mainly to look impressive and attract buyers with their novelty. Spiked arm shields as well as shields with lantern attachments already existed in medieval times, so I guess Renaissance inventors just wanted to take it a step further, or maybe two or three steps, and see just how much more they could add on. And maybe they charged outrageous sums for that, like modern DLC. Individually, the parts make sense. A shield is of course one of the most basic defensive weapons. The lantern would be an advantage in low light situations if it doesn't go out with sudden movements. The blades and spikes are useful as offensive weapons and to catch an opponent's blade. Slapping everything together seems like a case of trying too hard though, and I'd imagine that all the random protruding stuff gets in the way of the other arm and could even be a potential threat to the user. The mail on the inside of the gauntlet could be useful for grabbing an opponent's sword blade but the handle looks like it would be in the way, and I can only imagine how much of a pain in the glutes it would be to carry this weirdly shaped object of spiky flaming doom for everyday self-defense. Anyway, these things were certainly rare, probably not exclusively a curiosity for collectors, as they do seem to have some value for dark alley fights. One of these basically makes the arm invulnerable to rapiers and side swords, well, the lower arm at least, and it would probably make most robbers reconsider and pick a less intimidating target. What do you think? How practical is a lantern shield? And have you ever seen any kind of historical shield that is even more bizarre than this? Let us know, and thanks for watching.